Okay, depending on which version of this question you draw, there's there's two versions. Um, there's the kind where these numbers end up being the same, and then there's another version of the problem. It's the same problem. Again, it just it's randomized where these are not the same number. So I have a video up for when they're not the same number, and for when they are the same number, here's actually a much easier way to do it. Just cancel. Since I have square root negative 6 over square root negative 6, that's, I can reduce that and make this 1 over negative 2. Um, now I'll bring out that as an i, because anytime we have that root, we want to use the i notation so I don't inadvertently multiply some negatives on the radical, because that would not be legit. So we'll write that as i root 2. And now um, I'm going to slip down here just so I don't run myself out of room. Um, now we need to rationalize this denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the same way that we saw in chapter 4. If this i wasn't here and I just had 1 over root 2, I would use root 2 over root 2 to get the radical out of the denominator. And now with this i, I'm just going to add that right there um, and to get the i out of the denominator up into the numerator. So that will equal, um, up top I'm going to have 1 times this, so I just have i root 2 up there. Here I have i times i, so that is i squared, and I'll show you how to simplify that in a second. Root 2 times root 2, ideally you just realize that that's 2. Um, if you want to stop off at that square root 4 and then reduce it to a 2, that's okay as well. Um, but it goes better if you just kind of, um, once you accept that you know it's that same thing, I keep writing square root a, square root a makes a. If you just jump to here, it removes all the places where people make errors. Um, so then the last little thing here is that this is i squared is negative 1. So that would make this i root 2 over negative 2. And then just as kind of a matter of mathematical notation, we don't like leaving negatives in the denominator like that. And realize like if I have negative 1 half, that's the exact same thing as having negative 1 divided by 2 or positive 1 divided by negative 2. Those all mean the same thing. We just don't usually write this one. So I'll write this with that negative in the numerator. And it's still just a, you know, a fraction where one number is positive and one is negative. So just applying that to the numerator for convention. And then that's our final.